two days ago, I was washing dishes and my brother walked in. He said he was going to run to the grocery store to pick up a few items and he'd be back in an hour. I was like, one hour? What do you need an hour for? He told me just the checkout line would take him half an hour on a Friday. And that got me thinking. So that being said, have you ever had to wait in an endless checkout queue for just a few items? Or even worse, have you avoided a store simply because of the thought of waiting in a long line? Well, that ends right here and right now. Say you're walking into a store. In our system, the cart will have a tiny holder for your phone. As you put items in, they get added to the virtual cart and hence your bill in real time. Similarly, if you were to take out an item, it will get removed from your virtual cart and stricken from the bill. How does this work? Let's bring that soda bottle back. Our app uses computer vision to identify items while taking input from your phone's camera. After you have completed adding items to your cart, all you need to do is check out on your phone using an online payment gateway and you're good to go. It's that simple. Let's take a look at the app. After a user logs in, they must select the store they're shopping at. We've used the Google Maps API to smoothen this process. Since we're all isolated in our homes, we're going to simulate shopping using a small basket with the phone stuck to it. Here is our little shopping setup. For demo purposes, we have added red and green highlights to make the changes more visual. Notice how as we add items to the cart, our virtual cart is getting updated in real time. Similarly, if we were to take out an item, it is automatically removed from our virtual cart and hence subtracted from the overall bill. What if an item doesn't get recognized, you ask? No problem. I'm sorry, I didn't quite get that. What did you put in the cart? Dauber tomato puree. From here, let's check out our items. With our app, checkout is as simple as the click of a button. You fill in your details to complete the payment, hit confirm, and you're all set. This brings us to the technologies we used and why we chose them. We use React with Ionic for the front end and Node.js for the back end. The scalability of this tech stack combined with our team's proficiency in JavaScript were the driving forces behind choosing these languages. Out of all the models we researched, one seemed to be the best. The you only look once or the YOLO algorithm. It was originally implemented in Darknet and trained on the popular Coco dataset. We found an open source implementation in TensorFlow and trained the model on a custom dataset with over 500 images. The results are what you see here. We were able to detect custom classes with around 97% accuracy. What's more, unlike other models which are too slow for real-time detection, our model can make predictions at up to 60 frames per second. Our business model comprises of two revenue streams. Retailers will have a monthly or annual subscription option. The other option is for us to earn a portion of the profits earned on all transactions that used our system. We have also considered displaying advertisements by retailers that have adopted our system. Holiday deals, for example. This would benefit both customers and retailers. Our future plan includes integrating the app with customer shopping lists to provide a better shopping experience, displaying shopping ingredients from favorite recipes, working on security by integrating with existing technologies such as RFID, and providing analytical tools to help boost retail sales. During the development of the app over the past 24 hours, we've had a fair share of challenges. Initially, we were unsure how to add layers of security to our solution to improve retailer confidence. The computer vision model that we built required extensive image scraping, and converting a model to make it compatible with mobile devices was not easy.